Leo, talk to me. Now I know something is definitely eating you up. You again? Do you have a crush on me, Leo? It's okay, this is a safe space. Um... You can stop coming up with these pathetic reasons to keep calling me because they're not working. People keep talking. My colleagues keep asking me to see pictures of my mystery man. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come off as pathetic. I was only joking, but clearly you have more serious things on your mind. You know what, maybe this was a bad idea. No, no it wasn't. You can talk to me. When I'm not fooling around, I'm actually kind of a good listener. I, uh... Just not been feeling like myself, Chopin. Um, could you elaborate a little more? It's like, this whole time, my whole life I lived it like I was invincible. And then, after catching COVID, I'm vulnerable all the time. Just not used to being weak. Leo, vulnerability isn't weakness. It is to me. You know, for the first time in my life, I'm questioning every single thing that I thought I knew, like proper existential crisis shit. I was never that guy, Shope. But you've been through this scary, life-changing experience. COVID-19. Of course, you don't feel like yourself anymore. You stared death in the face and won. <sighs> won? I may still be alive, but I didn't win anything, Shope. I mean, nothing excites me anymore. You know, Toby hooked me up with this really dope musician, Stephanie, and the old Leo would be so excited to work with such an amazing talent, but this guy's bored stiff. I don't know how much longer I can keep pretending. Okay, then don't. Honor your feelings, Leo. Accept that that is not where your energy is right now. You know, I used to be just like Stephanie. All this crap was important to me. What if I stay this way? What am I supposed to do with my life now? I don't know, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. And who knows, it just might be fun. Fun? <laughs> Are you serious? This is a disaster. And I see it as an opportunity for you to reinvent yourself. That sounds pretty damn exciting to me, Leo. It's all about perspective. I know you think that I should be grateful for being alive, and I am. I'm just not okay. Maybe I should stop talking before you start looking at me funny. I am on your side, but this corona turned the whole world upside down. So of course we're gonna be affected. I get scared, I get despondent, but then I pick up the phone and I call someone the same way that you have called me and I talk it through. It really helps because we all need someone to listen sometimes. So what you are feeling, Leo, is perfectly normal. Really? Yes, really. I can even send you links to organizations that offer counseling because it's really important to keep a check on your mental health. Yeah, you're right. It is my mental health. I'm glad I called you, Chopin. Thank you. Anytime. So, are you okay there? You, you have everything you need? Daniel, I told you I'm fine. Can you talk about happy, normal things? Like, what's going on with your three girlfriends? Mm, I'm trying to explain. That was a mistake. And I wasn't a player. No. But let's just say now I have no one. They all decided to dump me. Daniel, you had one job. One. I know. I know. But maybe I'm just better off single for now. No. I've had enough excitement to last me a while. <laughs> so, can we talk about you now, properly? Daniel? Hey, I 
just want to know that you're okay, that you're really okay, and you're not pretending like you pretend before that everything was fine with Cabello and you. Okay, you have a point. No, I've been going for counseling. I'm realizing a lot of things I didn't before about Cabello, about myself. Zamo and I were so worried about you when we couldn't reach you. And I'm feeling like every time that I turn on the news and there was another report about JBV cases, I started thinking the next fatal incident could seriously be my friend. I realize how lucky I am. You know, I'm learning about how this guy just disempowered me. How he drained my self-confidence and self-worth. Even started blaming myself, telling myself that I'm weak. But I'm learning that it wasn't my fault. And I promised myself that I'll never fall for something like this ever again. I'm so proud that you've come to that realization. And either way, I will still have been here for you. So, what now? Are you going to report Cabello to the authorities? Cabello has already stolen more than enough of my life. And I won't give him a second more. So I plan to move on and live my best life and forget that he ever existed. I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah, Cabello has already proved that he doesn't take no for an answer. And yeah, you may have blocked him on social media, but he's still arresting me, Zamo. And if you're over your friends, demanding to know where you are. Did you have to tell me that? Why do you keep on bringing Cabello up when all I'm trying to do is put him behind me? I'm not trying to hurt you, Dino. But the truth is, Cabello will never be behind you until you truly deal with him. If you have any questions about COVID-19, Text the word COVID to plus four one seven nine eight nine three one eight nine two on WhatsApp. For more information about coronavirus or related issues, visit mtvsugar.com forward slash alone together. Terms and conditions apply.